Is China insane? During the course of 14 years, a hydropower facility in the Gobi Desert was built. The hydropower facility is considered as China's second most beautiful dam. Dudded is critical to the re-greening and agricultural expansion of Xinjiang, China's parched areas. Our country's Gobi Desert is often lifeless. While China's deserts feature a variety of typographies, high-speed trains and even dams coexist with oases and beautiful sand in desert cities. Even though it is not on the same size as the three magnificent dams, it is difficult to imagine how difficult it is to build a hydroelectric plant in the Gobi. Nevertheless, there is no doubt in that the desert hydropower station is a remarkable human achievement. The hydropower complex is located in Xinjiang, China's officially autonomous region. What kind of setting is this? Xinji has cultivated cotton. As a result, many people are acquainted with it. It is the world's second largest cotton producer, accounting for more than 20 of all cotton used in garments. The China-Europe Railway Express is a significant departure. Xinji is the location. It is a major commercial center in China and shares borders with eight other countries. This area has 1.3 million square kilometers of desert Gobi and the year-round arid weather severely limits agricultural development. Unfortunately, the winters in Code J are very cold and the area desperately requires heating. In the past, people in this region relied heavily on coal for electricity, which resulted in substantial air pollution. In the year 2000, China began planning to build a hydropower station for Xinjiang. The hydropower plant's annual power generation capacity of 2.2 billion kilowatt hours is expected to save 883,100 tons of conventional coal and reduce 175,302 inches. The grid connected power production of all units in the project has completely fixed the power consumption problem in the four prefectures of southern CG enabling the citizens of Southern Zhang to consume cleaner energy. The Grand River's discharge distribution throughout the course of a year may be dramatically changed if the Tar River receives an average annual water supply of 330 million cubic meters when paired with the proposed embankment. It is capable of effectively controlling floods in upstream mountainous regions and raising the flood control standard of downstream important protection items from less than 20 years to 50 years to 50 years. The water conservation project is being built on CJ's unique Yang River. The local population is strongly reliant on this river, which also serves as one of Xinjiang's key water sources. For many years, the Mother River in the southern Xing region has irrigated an area of more than 6.5 million mud. The bulk of people in CG rely on this river for their existence and livelihood. Nonetheless, prior to the dam's completion, the river was highly irregular, with periodic floods caused by factors such as mountain snow. Moreover, the flow of water entering the park and river changes dramatically during the year. During the flood season, more than 90 of the local rural labor force will be active in flood control, with more than 60 of the total quantity flowing from June to August. And at least tens of millions of dollars will be invested each year, which is a significant financial strain. Also, when agriculture demands water, the annual flow distribution of this river is also uneven. Due to a lack of water in the river, which causes drought. People were forced to dig wells, adding to the burden on farmers and badly affecting local farmland, communities, roads, communication, infrastructure, and power. Infras. To handle floods, droughts, and power outages in rural portions of the Yorkin River Basin, as well as to improve the river basin's natural biological environment and promote the river's local economy and civilization. The design of this dam started in 2006 and construction took 14 years to complete. The inhabitants of the peculiar Yang River Basin bead. After the dam was completed, the unique Yang River flood problem was completely resolved. Flood control efforts by nearby homes are no longer needed to be undertaken yearly, and other facilities may also relax the necessary requirements, depending on the dam's vast storage capacity and the intention to store water and storage during the rainy season and release it during the dry season. The Yang River's unique imbalance, annual flow distribution, has also been completely handled. Even during the dry season, the hydropower plant increased irrigation rates in the local farmland from less than 40 to more than 75. It basically meets the needs of the local people. 
agricultural irrigation during the dry season, which considerably assists area agriculture development. The Water Conservancy Project's construction company finished the multiplication and release work for 2022 this year by releasing 500,000 fish fry, because they are exclusively found in Xinjiang fry, China's second-class protected fish species. The principal discharge point is situated 6 kilometers downstream of the dam. In particular, for desert management and agricultural expansion in 2021, the project will send 348 million cubic meters of water to the lower levels of the Darien River, more than 78 million cubic meters more than in 2020, supplied by a natural water source, desert plants such as the ubiquitous Euphraca, Pollock, Saline, Tamars, and so on are extraordinarily vivid. Moreover, the Yorkin River flooding has been completely remedied and protection standards for key protective objects in the river have been established. Lower reaches have been improved throughout the last 30 years. It may also increase the irrigation rate from less than 50 to 75 while irrigating an additional 6.3 million acres of land. Also, a significant increase in grain production will occur along the watersheds of the three states in southern Sinji, benefiting nearly 6 million people. For now, the hydropower station's ecological water supply operation is in operation. Moreover, rather of small-scale human production, agriculture and exinging increasingly incorporate sophisticated technology as well as cutting-edge planting and irrigation methods. <laughs> Kinjan has been changed from a desert with minimal access to water into an oasis as a result of these measures. The area now contains the world's largest agricultural reclamation group as well as the greatest tomato, pepper, and cotton production reserves and gardens in China. China has the most arable land at 223 million acres. Cotton and fruit are two of the most well-known and their agricultural strength is not bad. Years of experience have proven that when regional water conservation develops to a high level, other construction projects, local agriculture, and animal husbandry may also thrive to high levels. Water conservation measures are critical in Xinjiang due to the unequal distribution of water resources. When Xinjiang was first liberated in 1949, it is thought that there were just three reservoirs. Xinjiang has 466 reservoirs in 1978, with a total irrigated area of 39.1 million MU. As of 2018, Xinjiang has 528 reservoirs with a total irrigated area of 74.055 million MU. Of course, China's instructions remain in effect. After this, there's a requirement for more water resources in CJ's parched area. China will soon be building more hydroelectric power plants. As time passes, more individuals will benefit from it. In this area of Sin, we may also see more sand deserts turn into oases.